Hey guys, so really quickly, I wanted to make a video addressing a problem I've been experiencing with my DJI Mavic Air. I was going to wait to include this in my full review of the drone, but I've gotten a ton of comments and a ton of people messaging me about this problem, so it seems to be affecting most people who own this drone, so I figured I would address it in its own video. Now, this problem is something that I really can't explain. I'd rather show it to you guys. Essentially, what happens is when the drone takes off and comes to a hover, it shakes and shudders around. Just here. Watch this video. Okay, so as you guys noticed, the drone started to shake around a bunch once I got it up into the air. So what I decided to do is take it up and fly around for about five or seven minutes. And upon bringing it back down, it hovered like you would expect any other drone. It's stable, no shaking, and that awful noise was totally gone. So I have only been flying this drone in the cold weather between living in Philadelphia and driving all the way out to Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've experienced this problem every single time I've gone to fly my drone. And the theory that I've come up with is that this drone does not handle the cold weather well. So to test this theory, I went into my garage where the temperature is roughly 56 degrees. And what do you know, the drone flew fine right off of the bat. I let it sit there for about a minute hovering and didn't notice that shaking problem that I did outside. With that being said, we can conclude that colder weather is to blame for the Mavic Air shaking during the first couple of minutes of flight, and there's really no telling exactly why this is happening. There is someone who's given the theory of the IMU uh, being moved away from the heatsink where it was located in the original Mavic Pro, so therefore, it's going to take the Mavic Air a little bit longer to warm up, and that seems to hold up uh, as the reason why the Mavic Air is shaking during those first couple of minutes of flight. Now, you are probably wondering how to avoid the whole shaking Mavic Air situation, and in my opinion, I would just let the drone warm up. Let those motors and IMU warm up before you start flying. You always want to warm up the drone for the battery's sake, so it kind of all works out. So what I want to do is quickly walk through my little process that seems to work really well with the Mavic Air. So the first thing I do as soon as I get to where I want to fly is take the drone out and turn it on even when it's not cold. This allows the IMU to calibrate, the home point to set, and in this case, when it's cold outside, it will let the whole drone warm up, including the batteries, the motors, and the IMU. In the time that I'm letting the drone warm up, I will typically set up my controller, put on my gloves, check the area. I mean, really, you can do anything you need to do before your flight. Uh, this can all be done during that period. Usually, at this time, once I'm ready, I would go and take off. But to really warm up the Mavic Air, I prime the motors and let it sit there on the ground for another minute or so. This will get the motor spinning and warm up everything from the battery to the IMU faster. For those who aren't aware, you can prime the motors by pushing the sticks towards each other in the middle. And once I'm done with this whole warming up process, I take off slowly, increasing my altitude, and there you have it, no shake. Now, as far as how long the warming up process will take you guys out there, it all depends on the temperature. So, for example, I noticed when I was out in Wisconsin in the negative 18 degree weather, it seemed to be shaking very violently once I took off. So, you're probably going to need to let it warm up uh, for a little bit longer if it's colder. But here in Westchester, when it's around 30-ish or 40-ish degrees, the warming up process doesn't take nearly as long. Something really quickly I should mention about this whole entire warming up process is that you don't have to do it before every single flight. It's usually going to be before that first flight of the day, and if you store your batteries and make sure that they're warm as you fly, all you need to do is go and swap the batteries in between flights, take off, and that shake won't be there. Now, before I end this video, I know one question I'm going to get down in the comments is, can I still fly my Mavic Air as it's shaking around? Yes, you can, but I would highly advise that you don't. So I've done it before, I tried it out, and I noticed that as I was trying to fly a straight line, the drone would jerk to the side. Like, it was really weird. I wish I could have gotten it to do that for this video, but for some reason, it wasn't doing it. Again, you can go out there and fly, but there's a ton of stuff that could go wrong as your drone is shaking. So I just recommend letting it warm up and make sure that the drone is hovering perfectly before you go and fly. But the good thing to take away from this video is that if you are a Mavic Air owner and you're experiencing this problem, just know that your drone is not defective. It is a widespread problem amongst a lot of drone owners or a lot of Mavic Air owners out there who live in these colder climates. But just because your drone is not defective doesn't mean it's a good thing. If you're someone out there who's living in a cold climate at all times, this drone might not be for you because it's going to be time consuming always having to warm this thing up. I'd recommend going with something else like the Mavic Pro or maybe, maybe even stepping up to the Phantom series as those drones fly perfectly in the colder weather. 
In the beginning, I had thoughts of sending this guy back because I was afraid that I was the only one with this problem, but after the first couple of days of seeing your comments about experiencing the same thing, I'm a little bit relieved that I don't have a defective unit. Uh, but guys, I would love to hear what you had to say down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this entire problem, and also let me know what your process is for warming up the IMU, the motors, and battery of your drone. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped you out, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.